Hello, welcome to my channel. I am going to show you how to achieve this crochet look with spare crochet hair that I had laying around. So here we go. I am getting started. My hair is freshly shampooed and clean um, and blow dried out. And I am going to get my braid pattern going which I don't know why I put a part in the middle, but I didn't have to. I actually could have braided them straight back. But this is the first pack of hair. This hair, as you can see, is pretty long. And it's blonde. And it was some hair I had left over from another um, style I was doing on a client. But it was just extra hair that I had bought for her that she didn't need. And the wave pattern on that, I believe, was a um, Caribbean wave, is what the package says, like a Caribbean wave. So, I needed to use it. I needed to do my own hair. So, I said, I'm going I'm to do something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crochet it in my hair. So, as you can see, I'm just going to be parting it off. I'm adding a little braiding hair to it, just for a little support. So once I get, um, it's almost like an anchor. So it just anchors down my braid so that my braid is a little more sturdy. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a, just a real thin piece of braiding here. As you can see, it's not a whole lot. I do a little crisscross motion. Um, that just works best for me. And then here I am going to go ahead and braid it. Now as I'm braiding this, um, I'm just gonna go through I think the video will pause shortly until I get the whole head done but what happens is I have clients who you know uh, might have extra hair left over I normally have my clients take their hair with them but if I'm buying the hair for them or supplying the hair uh, they don't want to take it with them they just be like oh you know Rita you can keep the hair so I end up with a lot of different hair being a stylist. So I went through, sorted through all the hair to see like, okay, can I put this together? Can I put that together? You know, so that I can make something happen, make a style out of it. So I had like two packs of blind and with the two packs of blind, it was going to be bright. <laughs> It was going to be real bright. And I'm like, I really don't be wanting my hair like that bright. So then I found another pack, which I'm going to show you how to color for that in a minute. And okay, so now that's for the part on the side. I really like braiding my edges downward like that because it puts less stress on my edges. Sometimes when you braid straight back, cornrows going straight back, which is nothing wrong with straight backs. It's just that it'll put extra stress on your hairline but if you braid like I'm braiding here it gives your hairline more support and it's less likely to break off because think about it if you're braiding straight back that's a point a point a point every part is a point but if you put this secure braid across your hairline it keeps your braids your edge is more secure, more protected, and not a lot of stresses on it. Try it one day and just let me know what y'all think. And if it worked good for you. It works great for me. I like it. Okay, so here we go. I, I got the whole head down. Down and done. So, as you can see, I just took the loose uh, tail end of the braids. And then I went ahead and anchored them into the rest. All right, that's the first pack. Y'all see that? Y'all see the wave pattern? I only had one pack of this hair. Just one. But it's super long. Look at that. So I'm going to cut that in half. Because I don't like it really long. I, I don't like really long hair. And once I cut it in half, I'm going to start off in the back. When you find yourself with hair and you're unsure if it's going to be enough, 
I always start in the back because that'll kind of give you an idea of what you need for your front. And you might not want that hair to be in the front. Now, some people might give you other information. They might say start in the front because at least your front will be done and it'll kind of cover the back. That makes sense. But I don't like it like that. I like to start in the back so I can see what I'm working with. Look at this, y'all. Now, that is my favorite crochet hook. The bulb was green. I'm trying to focus it in. See that? Can y'all see it look all beat up? That's because Max got a hold to it and chewed all the green off of the, my crochet hook. But since it's my favorite crochet hook, I will continue to use it. And so here we go. Now, this first one I'm putting in, I ended up taking that back out. Yes, I did. I took it back out. <clears throat> I don't like the way it felt. I didn't, I didn't put no, I mean, I, no, I didn't like it. That one had to go. You don't see me take it out, but believe me, I took it out. I took it out. The next one was perfect. I realized that the hair was too thick, so I had to divide it out. Sometimes this crochet hair has to be put in with really thin sections. Just remember that. All of it ain't just no loop to loop and pull it through. Matter of fact, yeah. See, I already knew I was taking that one out because it ain't. See, oh, I did. Okay. Y'all see me? There it is. I'm taking it out. It just wasn't right. It wasn't right. And bam, I needed to divide it out. It was too thick. And I'm going to go through and do the three loops, the three knots first because it's in the back. So you can get away with the three knots. It's basically like you just <clears throat> pulling it through three times. And then I'm gonna do the invisible um, crochet around the front perimeter and in the front part of my head. Y'all see that in a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all watch that until we get a little bit further along. Here we go. This is the second pack. This is not the same texture. It's not the same curl pattern. I don't even think it's the same hair company. I know the back look a hot mess right now. It looks so frizzy. But remember, I had to pull them apart. I had to pull them apart because it was too thick. Now this second pack, I think this one is... Um, beach wave so the first pack was like caribbean wave this pack here is called beach wave once again some leftover hair from a client and i'm gonna put it in my head to make something happen i gotta make a style i gotta make it happen <laughs> i gotta go to work the next day you know what i mean and i gotta make something happen all right so that right there that's me doing the invisible so that it lays over and you cannot see the crochet knot. That's because I'm going like so close to my face. So, okay. So I grab one, I hold one in my hand and I grab it, twist, grab it, twist, and then it locks in. And I'm just gonna keep going until that one pack is gone. So I want them to kind of like overlay over the frizzy looking ones. See that frizzy one, see that frizzy stuff, that probably would have scared me. Like this ain't gonna work. I'm gonna cut this out of my head. But y'all watch what I make it do. Watch what I make it do. I like this curl pattern from the second pack, actually. Look at it. Y'all see the difference? Look at it. See the see the wave, how pretty I mean, it's just it's just really, really it's pretty. Compared to the first pack, which is in the back. Do you see why I say start in the back? Because the good stuff, you can save that for the front and leave the other kind of hair in the back. So I do a couple of loop-de-loops, pull it through. 
So all I'm doing is just bringing the crochet needle in like that, looping it around, bringing it back through, opening up the eye, take one strand, one, two, and three, and pull it tight. Bam. It ain't going nowhere. And I'm gonna do this until that pack is gone. And I didn't even think like, I'm like, I don't even know if I have enough hair. Cause man, you, it ain't like I went to the store and bought this hair. This is hair I already had. So I'm hoping as I'm putting this in, I'm, you know, I'm kind of gauging it. Like, okay, I think, I think I might have enough. But I'm liking it. I'm liking it. If y'all have any questions, please leave them down in the comments because I will explain my method of thinking. You know, everybody has their own way. Everybody has their own way. That don't mean it's right and that don't mean it's wrong. That just means you got your own style to get to the same location. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to do the crochet from a different angle so that you can't see my invisible knot what I'm trying to create and it's it's a little difficult uh, trying for me to hold it in that direction yeah I'm trying to get it so that when I wear it or pull it up or something it's not going to be noticeable but I'm liking it y'all see the back Mm-hmm. It's fully covered. <laughs> you can't tell me nothing. <laughs> it's fully covered. Bam. Check it out. That is another pack of hair. <sighs> totally different wave pattern. I think that one's called uh, something wave. Wet, oh, uh, some, I don't know. Ocean wave. I ain't sure what the wave on that one is. But it's different. It's not quite the same. It's a number four, which is like a dark brown. And I ain't really and I'm not cutting it because it's already kind of short. But I'm a, I mean I'm not gonna cut it in half, but I am gonna cut it. Now I'm gonna loop this through. Same way. See how I grabbed that one strand? Bring it through, twist it, bring it through, twist it, bring it through. Bam, tie it tight. Now, I'm going to do this throughout the whole head. But what ended up happening was, let me tell you. I like my hair full. I like big hair. I mean, everybody don't like big hair, but I do. So, when I got to putting this in, and mind you, I only had one pack. So, I got one pack of the one. One pack of the, the second blind. And I had one pack of the blonde that I put in the back of my head. Bam. Look at it. It is a very stark contrast. <laughs> it's a big difference. But we gonna work it. We gonna work it. And I'm gonna cut and I'm gonna layer it. But y'all see that? Look. See, I didn't have enough brown. Because I would like more brown to kind of like flow over that blonde in the back. You know what I mean? The brown is cool in the front, but it ain't enough for the back. And that's what I was telling my husband, like, I think I need to go get one more pack of hair. Believe me. Oh, that's me back coming. Just so I can have that fullness around my ears line so you don't see those knots. You don't have to do that. But, I mean, that's something that I did with this hair. But I really, really, really wanted it a little bit more fuller in the top. And the hair I have on my head is all the hair that I had. So, I did have to go to the beauty supply. And I purchased one pack of hair. And man, you, it ain't even the same 
curl pattern because I couldn't find that curl pattern. The curl pattern I have in there, I couldn't find. I couldn't find the first one from the first pack. I couldn't find the second one, and I couldn't find the third one. So I had to do what I had to do. And then I, they had, did have a number four. They had a dark brown, which I really thought about putting another, you know, putting some more dark brown up in there. Y'all see how full that looks? Look at that, y'all. Back combing the crochet just brings life. It brings life. And remember, I like big hair. <laughs> you know, I'm feeling myself, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. But I don't like all that blind in the back. Because that's a lot. So at this point. Yeah. I had to make a run. Had to make a run to the beauty supply. Because it's just about right. But not quite. I gotta add a little something something to it just to give it that bang. You gotta be creative with hair and styles like this. Now, I mean, don't get me wrong, I rocked this for that day. But I sure went back to the beauty supply the next day. Oh, matter of fact, I'm about to show y'all right now. Here we go. It's the next day. I went to the beauty supply this is a number, is that a 27 or 30? I, I think it was a number 27. Yeah, or it might have been a 30 though, because I know it was darker than the, the one of them was real dark. And so what I'm gonna do is, I want my front more fuller. I'm gonna use the same latching in technique one, two, three, pull it tight. And I bought one pack. Now that pack came in 18 inches. So I'm definitely, definitely cutting that pack in half, which I've already done. And I'm just gonna add these strands throughout. Do y'all see that? That's me going under the braid to get that lock in there. You can do that. All your crochets don't have to be on top of your braid. It can be under the braid. So here we go. I got it in there. <sighs> and I'm just going to keep it real. It did not keep me from having a bunch of blonde in the back. I still got a bunch of blonde in the back. My top is a whole lot fuller, which I'm happy about that. But I do got a bunch of blonde in the back. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to cut it. Looking a little wild right now. And I put some setting lotion. No, no, no. Well, no, no, no. Not setting lotion. Yeah. A uh, lot of body. I sprayed it down with a lot of body. Um, make sure I cut some frizz. You see that little long piece I had hanging? I had to cut that. I cut that too. And then I chased it with some mousse. So, the, I already put the spray in there. And now there go my mousse. Mousse it down real good. So I can kind of see what I'm doing with this hair. And it's it's coming together, y'all. It's coming together. I, don't, I mean, it's different. I mean, it's not your traditional crochet, you know. Um, I use like one, two, three, four different curl patterns uh, from three different companies. But you know what? I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm liking it, you know? Well, if you have any questions, please share and subscribe my channel. Hit the like button so I can send y'all more videos like this. Like I said, I like it. It turned out okay. It, it ain't my best work, but you know what? Sometimes you got to use what you got to get what you want. Y'all take care now. Have a great day.